What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're gonna look at the Create Share Link action for OneDrive for Business. Now this action allows you to create a sharing link that you can then email out or message out or drop into Teams or something else. So we'll take a look at that today. So I'm in my flow here. Uh, I have a trigger here, which is when a file is modified um, and we're choosing uh, the folder Power Automate folder and we're not going to include any subfolders. Next, we are going to uh, add a new step and type OneDrive and find OneDrive for business. And then down here, we have create share link. So in here, it's asking for a couple of parameters. So we need the file that we're going to do uh, and from, for this type of uh, create share link action, I'm going to specify the, the file using the, um, using the picker from here. So we click the folder, we click the arrow, and then we scroll down to Power Automate, and then we're going to choose this PATVD folder here. So it needs the sort of friendly um, path name here, and uh, not the one that OneDrive Business uh, usually gives us. Uh, we're going we're gonna to choose, a, we're going to look at that in the next video um, about the, the create share link using path. But for now, we need this, this friendly name, this friendly path, and therefore we're going to use the picker to find that and find that file. Next, we need link type. So the link type is the type of access that you're giving someone. So the, the types that we have is view, edit, or direct. So view means that you can share this file with someone and all they can get, all they can do is view it, so they can't make any amendments to it. There is edit, which means that you can um, edit the file itself um, and, and the person that you're giving this access to will be able to edit it. And direct. Now direct, what that actually does is that gives a specific person direct access to your file. So what that means is that they will, um, you're basically specifying that direct access. Um, now we're not going to use that in this instance, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to choose the, uh, the view option here. The next thing we're going to do is we need to find out the link scope. So the stroke has two options, anonymous or organization. So anonymous means that anyone with this link can therefore view this content and therefore access this content and then use the share link to get it. Um, organization means that the, the user needs to be logged in to their to, or to your tenant's account um, and authenticated through your AD so that they can access your file. So if they are on a, a personal computer and try and access the file and aren't signed in, they won't be able to access it. Um, but if they are signed in, then they will be able to access it. So we are going to choose organization in this instance. And that's all we need. So we need the, the view, the link type, which is the type of access that they're in, and the scope, whether it's an, um, anonymous or organization. And then we can test this out. So we click on test. And I'll perform the trigger action. And I will go back and I will open up uh, this file. It doesn't really matter what file um, I'm using. So as I open this up, this will save uh, and that will trigger the flow um, because that's what OneDrive does. Uh, and we can see that this, um, this create share link here, it gives me this URL. So I can then use this URL and give it to someone. So I could drop this into a Teams message, uh, into a Teams channel. I could put this in an email to someone. I could automate and do something else based on this. And I'm using the, the basically the sharing functionality built into OneDrive for Business to do this, but I'm calling it um, programmatically using Power Automate. Now it is important to note that these these um, the sharing and everything is still determined by your, your policies in your business. So if you have a policy in your business that you can't share links or you can't do certain things, then it's not going to let you do that but this allows you to, to at least understand like the programmatic approach to being able to share data and share files with people. So if you're working on a, a specific um, project with people um, and you're going to put all these files in your OneDrive for business until you get back to the office or until you can um, you know, put them in SharePoint or, or do whatever, or if they're just even just going to stay on your OneDrive for business because they are uh, potentially confidential and shouldn't be accessed by the wider business, but just by a select group of people, what you could do is you could use something like this 
uh, maybe use like um, a list files action to find all the files um, in your folder and then create some and then use this to create some share links for each one of those and give those uh, and send those out to people. Um, you could do something like that. So some really cool functionality, some really cool features. Um, I think this is a real um, awesome action to have in Power Automate. But as always, I'd like to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, it'd be much appreciated. It really helps me grow this channel. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.